when we use the words the unconscious, what are we talking about? Well, it's a great question to start with. Um, and you know, you'll notice immediately when you think about the word unconscious that it seems to be a negative category, right? It's not conscious. So in a way, to really understand the word unconscious in some depth, you have to start with the word consciousness. Now, consciousness started at a very specific time. For Locke, it was around 1680, and for Descartes. And they had a very specific idea. The mind had conscious experience. There was no such thing as mental experience that wasn't conscious. When Descartes said, I think, therefore I am, that was what consciousness was for him. When Locke thought of the mind, he thought of it exclusively as a conscious entity. And that went on for about 100 years until Kant and a number of Germans said, that's actually wrong. There is something else in the mind that's structuring experience. He made it metaphysical. But the Germans started to immediately say, there are unknown selves and processes within us that structure consciousness. And that's really the beginning in the late 18th century, early um, part of the 19th century, of the notion of an unconscious that's mental. Not an unconscious that's physiological. People already thought about that. But an unconscious that was mental. And that then led, through a number of nooks and crannies, to Sigmund Freud about 80 years later.